Just down the hill from Old Main lies a historical ecosystem that used to be a famous local theme park and hotel. Now the Meadow Center for Water and the Environment still brings generations to work and visit today, as employee Christopher Crane explains. So I first learned about the Meadow Center because my grandfather was a glass bottom boat driver here back in the 60s when he went to Southwest Texas State. Um, and so that's the first way I learned about this place. And then when I switched to become a geography major, I, uh, I learned that this was something that students could do is they could come and drive boats here. And uh, ever since then, I've been hooked. One of the largest remaining structures still standing is the former Rogers Spring Lake Hotel, now the Aquarium and Environmental Research Center. Opening in the middle of Prohibition and only six months prior to the stock market crash of 1929, it seemed the vision of A.B. Rogers was too good to be true. Although the hotel has changed owners and uses over the last 90 years, its structural integrity lives on. I mean, I really think the most interesting thing about it is that it was built in 1929 and it's still here. And that can't be said for a lot of the things that are around campus and a lot of the things that even were on this property before. Future generations are carrying on the vision of A.B. Rogers and his family by preserving and maintaining the integrity of the hotel and the natural springs while sharing its rich history with families from all over on a daily basis. You know, this is kind of like a, uh, a hidden gem in the middle of Texas. I call it like a hidden oasis. You know, you drive through this I-35 corridor and you see buildings and cities and cars and traffic and then you peel off the highway to go down this little road down Ocarina Springs Drive and come on this little, small, beautifully natural area where there is really nothing like it else in the state of Texas. For the Bobcat Report, I'm Robert Bodine.